show you how to make tofu lasagna. Now lasagna is a very well-known dish around the world, very rich, and we have the Italians to thank for that. So, but I'm going to show you a healthy alternative. We have our dish here already sp sprayed with oil and I've got a variety of do dolmio um, tomato sauces. You can use your own, what you prefer. You can also, I've tried it with um, Wattie's tomato soup and it comes out really nice as well. So let's start with our layering. So first we're going to put the tomato sauce. We're only going to put it thick enough so that it covers so you can't see any of the base of your dish. Because if you make your own tomato sauce, you can make it not as tomatoey, if, if I can say such a thing. Um, and that's what I find because some members don't like it too tomatoey. So once we've done our first layer of tomato sauce, I'm using um, these lasagna um, oven ready noodles. I just like to break off the corners so it fits in nicely. It doesn't quite make one so you just break it in half doesn't always break so nicely but <laughs> there we go and if we want to do the little oh it's not gonna then we'll do some more tomato it doesn't have to be very thoroughly covered just because we're going to be adding a lot of other veggies and that is going to um, give the extra liquid to steam it we've got some top silver beet you're welcome to use kale or anything else of your choice i haven't given really proportions because it's going to depend very much on the size of dish okay and then we've got some lovely mixed vegetables they were frozen and i just defrosted them i've got here chopped onions and um, mushroom and i've already sauteed it for time then the next layer after this, we're going to be putting our seasoned tofu. So I'm now going to do the seasoned tofu because that's going to be our next layer. So I've got my two blocks of tofu here and my seasoning I'm using is it's some salt and I've got some onion and garlic powder. And then I've got some yeast flakes. That's about two tablespoons of yeast flakes because tofu doesn't have any flavor so we do need to give it a little something okay so then it's really easy especially this tofu it's nice and soft the morinaga one just mash it all together make, just make sure the seasonings are all blended in nicely so now I'm going to bring back our dish and put it here now we're going to do the layer of the seasoned tofu yeah make sure you spread the seasoned tofu evenly and you also want to flatten it down especially if you like me who likes to put a lot of nice good things in there i reckon that's done okay now we're going to put some cashew cheese and i'm just going to use the scoop to put it on you can just drizzle it evenly okay it doesn't have to be a very thick layer um, it's very well seasoned um, so you don't need a lot of it okay then we're going to go for the rest of our lasagna noodles sometimes they can be quite brittle but I just normally do a bit of a patchwork so you don't really see it it's going to be all mixed together okay then we're going to finish with our tomato sauce on top and I like to do a pattern okay so I think that's pretty well covered so now I'm going to just decorate it with the cashew cheese
Okay, you might have a prettier design than me, but there we go. Now what we're going to do, I'm just going to clean here because if you don't then it goes all hard and it looks ugly when you want to serve the dish so make sure if you've done any little sprinkles around there or drips and then we're going to cover it with foil okay so this is going to go in the oven a hot oven 190 degrees celsius for about 40 minutes um, and after the 40 minutes we'll we'll take it out and then take off the foil because that's easiest and uh, then we'll let it just bake by itself without the aluminium foil for about five to ten minutes just to get it that nice baked finish. Yep, Our tofu lasagna has now been in the oven for 40 minutes and now we're going to take off the foil and I mean you don't have to put it in but it's nice just to get if there was any moisture from the foil we're going to put it in for another five to ten minutes. You can put it on grill just to get that nice little browned effect. I have now taken the tofu lasagna out of the oven. It has been in there for ten minutes on grill. So we can just bring out nice color. I have also garnished it. I've made a smiley face. So you can do what you would like to do for the garnish. But put a smile on your guests or your family's face. Lasagna is always nicer the next day, so make it the day before if you want to serve it to your guests or your family because all the flavors come together um, and if you can call it maturing overnight. Another thing that is really nice about lasagna, it actually freezes well. So if you want to freeze, cut, cut out a portion and freeze it for portions for work for your husband or your children, it really um, is very convenient.